And how's it going guys, Joshua Lofemi here, live from LA, and I have the pleasure of introducing a new guest to the channel. His name's Will Cecil, he's over in New York City, and we have the privilege, check this out, we're gonna have him for a full VFX week in about three weeks. But to hold you guys over, we're gonna have him do two dope VFX tutorials for the channel that are really, really easy to do. You all are gonna really like Will's work when you see it. His work incorporates the lo-fi grunge of old technologies with the ease of modern production techniques. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using one of Will's personal products called the Pixel Encoder. You can download it below. There's actually a discount that you can get with the channel. Just type OLU20 in the discount code box. So guys, before we see Will, I gotta shout out my channel sponsor, Envato Elements. And of course, we offer Envato Elements for free for the first month on this channel. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. My name is Will Cecil, and today I'm going to show you how to use Pixel Encoder to create grungy burn text effects. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we need to do is create a new composition. So we're going to go over, click New Composition. I'm just going to leave this 1920 by 1080, uh, 24 frames per second, and we're going to start with just 10 seconds. It's going to be a pretty quick loop, um, and then I'm going to call this Text burn and you'll see why in just a second after that we're gonna put in our text so I'm gonna go right click down here in your uh, layer area and then new text I'm just gonna use my name for simplicity sake you can use whatever you want one thing that I do want to mention here is that I really recommend you use a bold or a thick font because the more surface area of the font, the better you're going to be able to see this effect. It'll work with whatever font you want to use. And if you want to experiment, I highly encourage you to. But in my experience with this, I've, I've found that I get the most success when I use a, a bolder font. So I'm just going to stick with Urbom. And then I'm going to go ahead and align that in the center of my composition. And so this is going to be our base layer for the text. But we're going to go over here and we're going to just Control C, Control V. We're just going to copy and paste a new layer. And this one is where we're actually going to have our effect. So we're going to go to effects and presets. And what you're looking for is CC burn film, as you can see here. So we're going to drag it on there. And let me just show you what this does. So burn film, it emulates what film celluloid looked like when it would burn on a film projector. You guys have probably seen this effect around. Some of you are probably more familiar with it than others, but it looks something like this. So as you can see, it's just this really interesting kind of burning from the center out effect. And one thing I want, I want to mention too is the reason we have this bottom layer is because underneath it, it'll disappear and we want to remain, we want to keep that bottom layer so that you can still read the text after we convert it in pixel encoder. And that is also what helps it loop. So we'll keyframe it from zero to a hundred and then it'll just loop again. And we'll do that now actually. So let's go to 12 frames in and we're gonna go ahead and click the stopwatch right next to burn. We're gonna set that to zero. Let's go ahead and make this a four and a half. Let's go ahead and make this a four second loop. And we're going to go to four and a half seconds, and then we're going to keyframe it to 100. And then I'm going to drag the workspace down to five seconds. So this whole loop is going to be five seconds. It'll be 12 frames of just the text, four seconds of the animation, and then another 12 frames at the end. So let's just go ahead and see what that looks like right now. And there you go. That's our loop. It was pretty simple, guys. Uh, after that, what you want to do is you go ahead and click down here and then go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. We're going to use the best settings. And then go ahead and output that wherever you want your footage to be, wherever your project files are. We're going to render that, and then we're going to open it back up in Pixel Encoder. 
Okay, now that we're back in Pixel Encoder, the very first thing we wanna do is import that footage that we just rendered. So let's go ahead and right click, replace footage file. We're just gonna click that right there. And boom, already off the bat, you can see it's doing some really interesting things. But let's go ahead and play through it just to see what it does with that interesting gradient. Check it out, guys. It's really that simple. We, two seconds in a different composition, we rendered out a little footage and we've already got a killer text effect to use for title cards, lyrics, anything you wanna use it for. But let's play a little further. Let's just see kind of what we can do with it. If we go through, say we, uh, well first, let's adjust this composition setting to match the five seconds of the other project. So now I've got the whole thing here. So halfway through, let's just see if we adjust the brightness, what can we get it to do if we if we take it down a little bit? Do we like that more? It's a little bit more on the darker side here. It's kind of nice. Or if we want to use a different effect, say we want to try extra grunge. That's one of my favorite effects on here. There you go. That's interesting too. And it's really that simple, guys. If you wanna export this for video, you can go ahead and use the included After Effects preset. But one thing I do want to point out, if you want to do this, say you wanna overlay this onto footage of a music video, or say you wanna use this over the opening scene of your movie. Uh, you don't want that, back, that black background crowding things up, right? So all you gotta do is go over to the background color and just uncheck that box. So now I'm gonna show you, now that background is transparent. And when we render it out, that means that we can have this animation over whatever video we want. So we would just go to composition, add to render queue. We will use the pixel encoder render preset that comes with pixel encoder. And in the output module, we wanna make sure to use RGB plus alpha. So you can use AVI, you can do uh, ProRes 4444. Both of those are codecs that support alpha channels. Uh, if you guys wanna learn more about those, I really recommend that you Google them. It's an interesting topic that you can spend a lot of time into, but we're not gonna go into those too in depth right now. Just know that if you want the transparent background with the video, I, I highly recommend that you use AVI or QuickTime with ProRes 4444. And you just need to make sure that it says channels RGB plus alpha. That's gonna give you that transparency background. Thank you guys for joining me. I, I hope you get some good use out of this and take care, happy editing. Will, thanks so much for joining us today. I know this tutorial is gonna help a lot of people. Please make sure to like this video, share it with everyone, subscribe to this channel. There are two more videos that I want you to watch. And as always, remember to keep it chill.